Hi everyone, I'm Coach Ali and this is Assistant Coach Steph. Welcome to our Gains Home Dumbbell Workout Series designed to muscle you up and transform your body using only your dumbbells. Train along with us in the comfort of your own home and let's have you looking fabulous using simple, high value, low risk exercises suitable for all levels of fitness. For me personally, this series is particularly special because it marks 27 years of teaching strength and conditioning focusing on transforming bodies. Today's Gains Home Dumbbell Workout will focus on your shoulders and your traps, as well as your abs, intercostals and obliques. In this series, your strength exercises will include three sets of 12 repetitions. Make sure that your dumbbells are heavy enough so the last couple of repetitions in each set are difficult to finish. If you complete your sets with ease, then select heavier dumbbells to make your workout more effective. Be sure to train to every workout in our GAINS Dumbbell Workout Series in the order we release them so that your workouts are aesthetic and effective. If you're looking to get lean and shredded, then simply add 15 to 20 minutes of mild cardio to the end of today's workout. If you have any questions about the program, then simply comment below and ask us. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to our channel members whose contribution enables us to produce workouts for everybody on YouTube. If you're interested in becoming a channel member and progressing past the first 10 workouts in this series, then be sure to hit the blue join icon and let us take your body transformation to the next level. If you're new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay accountable and on track. Now that's enough talking from us. Let's get started with our Gains Home Dumbbell Workout Series. Let's go. This exercise is called Around the World and it's a rotation of the shoulders while you've got extended arms moving the dumbbell from one hip all the way around to the other hip. Make sure that you're getting a full torso twist on this exercise guys and make sure that your elbows are remaining soft straight throughout the whole set. By the time you get to the end of the set you will have felt this in your abs and your intercostals but also in your shoulders.
exercise is a dumbbell shoulder press. Start with your feet nice and wide. Make sure your knees are slightly bent and make sure that your hips are beneath you. When you lift up, make sure there's no movement in your hips. You've got to try and keep your torso stationary throughout the whole exercise. Make sure you drop those elbows nice and wide and lift all the way until your dumbbells touch each other. Exhale as you're lifting and inhale as you're releasing. This is a lateral delts raise with an L shape arm position. When you're at the bottom of the exercise, your forearms are horizontal and the upper part of your arm is nice and vertical. When you lift, make sure you get to a straight line from elbow to elbow. And this will really emphasize the lateral head of your shoulders as well as your traps. Steady controlled movement with full range and then make sure you return it nice and slow. It's very important to keep your hips nice and still, make sure that they're not pushing forward. Make sure you've got a strong, sturdy base.
This exercise is a dumbbell shrug, but you can see the way we're doing it. We're lifting those shoulders up nice and high as though you're trying to touch your ears with it. And then we're circling back. Releasing in this fashion will mitigate any strain in the traps and it'll allow you to get full range of movement. Make sure that you're not lifting with your torso. So keep your hips nice and still. Make sure your knees are slightly bent. Keep your feet parallel and nice and sturdy. This is a standing dumbbell front press. The primary muscle engagement is in your abs and the secondary muscle engagement is in the anterior of your shoulders. Make sure that you start with the dumbbell at your chest with your arms nice and parallel and then push horizontal. Extend with good range of movement and make sure that you put a pause right at the end of that exercise where you've got really good core engagement and then simply return it to your chest as you inhale.
This is an alternate oblique tilt with your hands in that overhead position. Start with your feet parallel and your legs nice and wide. You've got to make sure your knees are nice and straight for this exercise, guys. Doing standing obliques is one of the only times that you hard straighten your knees. Try to create a small letter C with your body as you tilt to the side. One repetition is an oblique tilt to the left and an oblique tilt to the right.
This exercise is a dumbbell crossbody crunch. You can see we're using two light dumbbells for this exercise and we're crossing over and touching the opposite knee by creating the crunch and rotating your shoulders. This is a fantastic way of getting into not just your upper abs but your inner costals as well. If you're after getting those V-cut lines on the side of your abs guys, make sure you give this exercise a good go. One repetition is essentially two movements, one to the left side and one to the right side. This exercise is an abs rollover. Start with your head and shoulder blades lifted and your arms nice and vertical, and then bring your straight legs to the dumbbell by squeezing your abs and then return it until it's around 45 degrees in the opposite direction. Make sure your knees remain nice and straight as best as you can. 
and make sure you've got really good control both on the way in and the way out. This exercise is a single sided oblique tilt. Start with your legs nice and wide and your feet parallel. Make sure your knees are nice and straight and then you're tilting over pushing the dumbbell below your knee for 12 repetitions. Then we'll switch hands and do the other side as well. Make sure that there's no bend in your knees and make sure that you're tilting to the side. If you tilt backwards, you're gonna get some pressure in your back, so make sure you're avoiding that. Prevent your hips from driving forward. It needs to remain underneath you during this exercise. Thank you. 
Well done for finishing your dumbbell workout at home and progressing through our GAINS home dumbbell workout series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. If you're done working out, then you should move on to post-workout stretching and cool down with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. As always, thank you for training with Coach Ellie and I. We look forward to bringing you another Games Home Dumbbell workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.